It's election day and the race for Chicago mayor will be decided tonight in the runoff election. We have live team coverage on election day beginning with the mayor's race. Let's start with Jackie Bang who is at the election night headquarters for Paul Vallis. Hi Jackie. Hi, we're at the Hyatt in a very quiet and rather cavernous room, but in a couple of hours they expect hundreds of supporters to be here and celebrating a victory, and they hope it will be a victory, number one, and it'll be a victory tonight. They never know with the mail-in ballots. But they do expect that to happen. Five weeks ago, he was celebrating a victory. 33% of the vote went to Paul Vallis. He bested his eight other opponents, including the incumbent, Lori Lightfoot, and he expects to do that tonight. Now, we did catch up with Vallis uh, early this morning, right before he voted at Healy Elementary School, and he did say that he felt very confident that he got his message across. He stuck with the message of fighting crime and increasing the number of police and bringing them into the community. He found great success in the primaries on that message and he hopes it is the same now. He also said that this was an exhilarating campaign. Where is he going to get his support? Again, on the northwest side, the southwest side, in the primaries, he had a huge amount of support there and they had a big turnout, some of them upwards of 40%. He expects that again. He got some on the west side, too, in the primary, a handful of them. Now, while he considers himself a moderate, though Brandon Johnson calls him a Republican, he says he might even get some support from progressives. When you say Brandon Johnson, uh, Johnson's base, uh, you know, I've campaigned everywhere, and I like to think that my progressive agenda on investing on the south and west sides, on you know, to, uh, returning schools to the control of the community so that they can be centers of community activities. I think the things, obviously my stand on women's rep on protecting women's reproductive rights and obviously supporting, uh, and early on, I mean, before many did, uh, the issues important to the LGBT community, uh, you know, I think that makes me as progressive as anybody. In his simplest messages in these last five weeks, there have been two from Brandon Johnson. He's really narrowed in and said that Paul Vallis is a Republican veiled in Democratic clothing. As for Paul Vallis, he's really homed in on Brandon Johnson, who wants to defund the police, which Johnson, of course, says he does not want to do. Vallis was here about a half an hour ago, just checking on the podium, and hopefully, he says, to make his victory speech. He's in the hotel now and we'll spend the rest of the hours there until he comes down at the Hyatt Jackie Bang WGN News all right thanks Jackie let's check in now with Patrick Elwood at the Brandon Johnson campaign hey Pat Tina and Ben, good afternoon to you. We're at the uh, Marriott in the South Loop. And like he has done since he first announced his campaign to run for the mayor of the city of Chicago, Brandon Johnson was a very, very busy candidate today. Tireless, you might say, throughout this campaign. From 7 a.m. until the polls close at 7 p.m., he's scheduled to make 15 different stops along the trail, beginning with voting for himself at his local polling place today in the city's Austin neighborhood where he lives, and then again in the noon hour at Manny's Deli in the South Loop, which is a traditional stop for candidates up and down the ballot for years and years, if not decades. Johnson and Vallis, as Jackie was talking about, have a lot of differences. How to fight crime may be among their biggest difference, and when we caught up to him today, his remarks were brief, but he got the point across that he feels in these late days of the campaign, he's got a lot of momentum in the past few days. Oh, it feels great. Look, there's a lot of energy, energy in the city of Chicago. You're seeing an incredible uptick of voters because the people of Chicago, they want a better, stronger, safer city. And this multicultural, intergenerational movement that has catapulted our movement, preparing to take the fifth floor for every single resident of the city of Chicago. I feel absolutely humbled and excited about the future of the city of Chicago. 
And when you kind of put things in perspective, when he first announced his candidacy, he was given a 2 to 3 percent chance of winning. He says if that can happen, then certainly he can win this election on this big day. Pretty quiet right now, but as the hours progress, Ben and Dina, no doubt this place will be teeming with Brandon Johnson supporters. And we'll be here to cover it all for you. Reporting from the South Loop, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thanks, Pat. And we'll have more election reports coming up at 4.30. Then our special live coverage of the election results beginning at 7 p.m. after the evening news. You can watch us right here on Channel 9 or stream our coverage on WGNTV.com or the WGN Plus app.